hello everybody and welcome to my first of many uh, interviews that I haven't done interviews in so long. So I'm a little rusty, but I've got some amazing people here today that I cannot wait for you to meet. But if you're just seeing me for the first time, I am Jessica Alstrom, the creator of Quantum Fitness, the Alchemist Apothecary, and the Quantum Method Virtual Academy Online. And today I have some really, really important guests and not only guests, but friends um, who are the current owners of Quantum Fitness Canada. And to give them a little backstory, um, as you probably get very comfortable seeing their faces because they're going to make a lot of videos, right, guys? Like, you know, That's right. <laughs> um, they, I, I just, I can't wait to tell you this story because obviously I'm always doing my thing. You know, I'm always trying to get ahead of the curve and biohacking has always been such a sweet spot for me when I really started studying quantum biology as far as, as how this computer works. And I think I got into, um, into fitness and health and nutrition for the same reason you guys did. But um, let me introduce you first and then we'll get into all the, the really fun stuff. This is uh, Danny and Jamie and they are in Ontario. Am I correct? Right? Yep, Ontario. we're in Toronto, Ontario. Yeah, and they, um, they have run fitness, they've been in fitness for 17 years and they've owned a company called Body Busters for, you said 14, 15 years? 15 now. 15 now. Okay, yeah. and they're also just celebrating their 14th year wedding anniversary. That mm -hmm. alone is like a huge accomplishment in this day and age, right? They got two <laughs> small kiddos. That's an accomplishment. And the funny thing is, is right before our interview, I asked them what they did before fitness. And Jamie said she worked with special needs kids and um, and Jamie um, was a, a comic. <laughs> yeah, I, work, I worked in the entertainment. Yeah, in the so entertainment special needs children, comic. You know, you're right at home, Danny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, anyways, let's give a little bit more about them. You know, they've been working in the passion of fitness and health. I know that that's a, a very big deal in your household, being healthy overall. And you guys have been um, owning this company, Body Busters, for a while. And what got you into fitness in the first place, uh, Danny? Um, well, before I got into fitness, um, I started, I was actually working with special needs children mm -hmm. and I ended up doing fitness with them. And that was like the catalyst. Mm -hmm. And that's what then brought me to doing fitness with, with adults. Mm -hmm. And from then on, I just, I was, fitness was it. It was, it was so you much, I saw right. the changes mm -hmm. in people. I mm -hmm. saw the changes in myself and, um, Yeah. So what was the biggest change that you noticed for yourself? I mean, obviously the aesthetic stuff, the body, but like, what was the biggest change that made you want to go and get certified? Um, I think the biggest change was seeing and feeling how much happier I was when I was actually feeling fit and well overall, um, mm -hmm. how much happier the people that I was doing fitness with um, felt and were, and yeah, just overall, just a, a really good amount of just joy overall with, right. with being fit. Would you say too confidence? Confidence, absolutely. Yeah. Much more confident. Mm -hmm. um, and, and when you're confident, you're happier too. So exactly. that's what I mean. When mm -hmm. you're confident, you're less likely to look and make sure you're doing something okay. You know what absolutely. I mean? Like confidence just makes you free in your own body, free in your own skin, free in your own life. So and that's absolutely. why I got into fitness is because it gave me a confidence that I never had before. Yeah. So how about you, Jamie? um well i think we were both uh we were both open to change and it was you know uh, we started body buster uh shortly you know a, a couple years into our relationship and um but i remember saying uh, to danny at the time uh because i was really focused on you know my corporate entertainment i was uh, i was a comic juggler and, and mm -hmm. just really pushing that that area of things and i remember saying okay uh you know i'm, I'm gonna support you uh with your, with the fitness and the direction you want to go in and I'll uh, put all my time in for six months. And then I'm going to go back to focus, you know, with my own uh, mm -hmm. career. And I actually didn't, I didn't leave. I kept continuing and I saw so much potential and um, there's, you know, just a lot of great relationships we built with people and uh, you know, uh, interacting and seeing changes and seeing people uh, work on themselves for the better. Uh, so it just kind of, we, just kind of flowed in one direction and I kept going and I haven't looked back. 
So wow. And you you said you were saying earlier that you guys you know brought in the idea of boot camps. Mm -hmm. Like what 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 do you think makes like the boot camp different from like just regular going to the gym? Um, I think the circuit training is really big. Mm -hmm. um, the 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 circuit training is really really important because you get a little bit of everything, and we try mm -hmm. to have uh, our program be all encompassing in in mm -hmm. terms of um, you know we try to use every modality of fitness, but also with boot camp comes discipline, and discipline mm -hmm. is not a bad thing. It's a really good thing in fitness. It's um, yeah. something that we all need to have if we're doing um, you know trying to get fit and healthy. Right. Yeah. When it comes to results to um, the type of boot camp program we put together, you can get personal training results uh, in that one hour, but you get the right. motivation of working out amongst a group of people. And that's huge because it helps hold people accountable and having that interaction, uh, you know, having the, the instructors, the trainers, the coaches, um, you know, having the relationships with all the, the members, it's huge because it's not just like, you know, you're going to the gym and you're in there for a couple hours. You're mm -hmm. in there for that one hour uh, with, you know, boot camp, and you're getting what you, you need done and you're out. Um, so, yeah, it's. And you also uh, have that synergy and that fun competition and the, and the element of play and how yes. in the circuit kind of like bringing different elements keeps us from getting bored or too stuck in, you know, routines and stuff. That, yeah. that was exactly why I stuck with fitness is I always felt that going kind of more of the boot camp way was just it, it kept it more fun yes. so it wasn't like if I was having a bad day I'm not going to be my best accountability you know mm -hmm. I'm going to want to eat snacks on the couch but it's like oh if I can go and I know I'll feel good once I'm there you know and that's why I became a personal trainer so I don't know 100 years ago I thought fitness and nutrition I'm going to save the world like everybody needs to feel what I'm feeling right now you know you get that high when you change your body and you change your life and, and, you know, I'm sure that as, as this program owner, your biggest struggle was the same as mine is, is keeping that consistent motivation and that confidence when life throws you a curveball, right? Yeah. Because again, like we're, we all think that once we get to that goal with fitness or health, that it's just going to stay there, you know, but it, it's, it's as soon as you kind of let your guard down life happens, right? Life is full of just challenges. Your parents, sometimes your kids are sick. You can't get to the gym or, you know, sometimes work is, is the priority or, you know, life. And, and then as soon as we get out of that consistency, then it starts to get easier to not be consistent, right? Absolutely. Or have a really big traumatic event happen in our lives that just wipes our confidence or it wipes like a breakup, you know? And this is exactly why, like for me as a personal trainer, it was difficult because I had, I had my clients for one and a half hours, but then the other 23 hours a day, I was like, you know, are you guys going to be here? You know, cause again, it's like, I know how I was. If I had a big life event happen, it was, the gym was the first thing that went because I was using it to consistently stay confident. But when I couldn't find my confidence to get there. You know what I mean? I kind of wanted to go more reclusive and, you know, before I know it, the 20 pounds are back and it was like, I never had any training at all. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen your clients experience the same exact thing. You know, am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Life happens and it happens mm -hmm. to all of us. So it's just a yeah. matter of, uh, you know, trying to stay disciplined and, and focused, especially when things get in the way. And that word discipline is such a trigger for the inner child. Uh, like the little, the little you like, and the reason why is because it's associated with I'm in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. but really like when we rip apart that word, it, it comes from the root Latin word of disciple, which means student. So technically discipline is like, you're the student teacher of yourself. And if we looked at it that way, we wouldn't think like I, I'm being punished. Right. So, mm -hmm. so for me, as I've been working more in the area of quantum biology, the study of genetics, the study of neural pathways, the study of behavior, the study of emotions, the study of all the biochemistry that makes us up. You know, I realized that these life events that happen and as it always seems to be happening when we're rising above, right? When we're starting to really get those solid feet under our ground, that's when kind of the rug gets ripped out and all of a sudden all the results 
feel like they're gone, you know, and you have to start over. So it's like, I know how many times I've started over just on my health journey, just on Mm -hmm. my wellness journey, just on my fitness journey. I mean, you know, not to mention now throw, I had an eating disorder on top of that. I had an autoimmune issue on top of that. So some days I physically couldn't get to the gym, you know, so we add all this on then relationships and then time and money Mm -hmm. and then consistency. And it's, it's probably been pretty difficult for you guys because it is, it is still kind of like managing emotional like children, you know what I mean? Like keeping them motivated, keeping them excited when their lives are falling apart. So, I mean, I know how many times I've started and stopped, you know what I mean? Think about how many times, okay, well, let's try this diet, you know, let's try, I know it's because this is happening. So let's try this part. And that keeps us feeling like we're moving forward. But really what we're doing is the try, the root of the word try comes from a word called trauma, right? Now I'm not talking about, you know, the worst possible trauma that you could have. I'm talking about life. I mean, you know, I always teach in, in my, my classes that, you know, growing up, not getting the cup that you wanted to get and your brother getting the red cup when you wanted the blue cup can be traumatic because in the eyes of a very small person, the equivalency of what we get upset about and what they get upset about is very different and it's all recorded. So their perception of reality is very different. So again, we have to take into consideration that really what we're dealing with when we are, we're receiving anyone into health and wellness is people who are kind of upset with themselves. You know, it's like, they're starting our program because I don't know what I'm doing. I can't, you know, so it's just like, there's a lot of vulnerability in our, in our work. And, and I've never taken that lightly because they're kind of saying, I don't, I am putting my, my confidence in your hands, you know, and I'm, I want to use your expert, you know, expertise to, to be consistent this time. And I love the fact that you guys have been in the fitness industry and had a business open with everything this world has experienced Mm -hmm. for as long as you have. I mean, that is a huge credit because it's like, as a, a business owner, as parents, as the world has changed what so many times, you guys have stayed consistent with this idea. And, and that was really, for me, one of, of, of my favorite things about you guys is the fact that I'm sure you, you young couple raising kids, I'm sure this hasn't been easy, you know, but seeing the results, right, of, of your own byproduct has, has allowed you at least to, to come you know, create a life around this and, and health and wellness is your life. So Absolutely. that to me was amazing when I met you and interesting how I met Danny was, I think I followed you guys on Instagram, maybe mm-hmm. like two years before I even knew, you know, that there was any, I just liked what you had to say. I, I really resonated with your posts. I loved seeing your pictures of your boot camps, and it was just really nice. And I, I had no idea who you were or anything. And then all of a sudden, years later, right, I'm in Instagram and I I find out that Danny is taking my quantum fitness class. And I'm like, wait, what? The same person. And so, of course, I was like, oh, we got to talk, you know, just Mm -hmm. we've been in this industry and and here we are evolving with the times because this is definitely, I would say, advanced fitness and advanced, you know, quantum biology that quantum fitness is the basis of. And here you are in there. I had no idea you even understood the language, right? <laughs> because at that time, Surprise. I was like, right. <laughs> so you never know, you know? And, and so, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Not only was Danny, you know, going through it, but of course, it's impossible to go through an experience and not share it. Just like you came home, you know, 17 years ago, and we're like, I'm getting the fitness. And, you know, then Jamie's like, Okay, you know, so (laughs) when when your life changes, it just has an influence. So, what was it like for you when you were first going through the virtual program? Because you didn't even go through the the actual program at first. You went through the virtual quantum fitness. So, what was that like for you? It was it was intense. Uh, There was Mm -hmm. lots there was lots going on, but it was just an amazing experience for me, and it was absolutely 100% life changing for both of us. I, I would say, for sure. um, whether you like it or not, Jamie, <laughs> whether that, it was that, a change or not. There's lots going on at times. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But um, yeah, I could not believe um, the changes and the concepts. And, you know, like I said, I, I've been doing fitness for so long, but this was something that was completely different. It was still related to fitness, but it was so different in its own right. And um, it actually clicked so much for me more than anything else had had because truth, truth be told, like with fitness, <clears throat> I had always felt that something was missing. I had intuitively kind of known that there was a missing piece. So mm -hmm. um, this almost connected the dots for me. And um, although, as I said, it was a little intense at times, um, it was worth every moment because, um, you know, just having that connection and, and feeling what I felt, um, it was it was pretty awesome. And mm -hmm. she was really ready when she joined. She was ready for it. And uh, yeah. uh, so, you know, timing with everything just felt right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that, that, that's exactly what I always say is if you're in quantum fitness, it's because you're ready. Yeah. And so, I mean, for those out there that are like, what is this quantum fitness? It's not a fitness program like you can find at your gym. Quantum fitness is, is the thing that's going to cover all of the in-between parts of your life. It's about getting that part of you in shape that you think that getting your body in shape is going to give you confidence for it's it's getting your mind in shape it's getting your beliefs in shape your habits your your also it's a a very kind of big slap in the face in the beginning i know because i've taken my own program about <laughs> how we thought our lives were going to be moving forward and and it's, it feels like a hamster wheel you know like i said earlier on is like how many times have we stopped and started how many times has life gotten in the way where all of a sudden we're just not working out again, or I can't afford the supplements or, you know, I am going through a really dark time and I just want to scream and cry and eat junk food. You know, it's just like, so for me, it's like the in-between. I was a fitness and like wellness coach for probably two years before I started going, okay, why, why? I just wrote a $500 nutrition plan for someone and they're not following it. Why? Yeah. because the brownies <laughs> are their friend at two o'clock in the morning you know what I mean and why did I why did I teach fitness and yet have a have an eating disorder you know what I mean it's just like why are we teaching one thing and then living another thing and that was one of my biggest questions and I've always been that annoying why 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 person mm -hmm. and it, why and what you know we know that the universe covers the how and the when but like what and why what is stopping these people from keeping that long-term goal with themselves and why is life getting in the way when you've never needed fitness more when life is going in the toilet right but that's when we throw it all away mm -hmm. so those are the questions that really got me deep into psychology they got me deep into more understanding like quantum biology like I said it's how thoughts work with genetics and how why are we sabotaging certain areas of our life and why do we know better, but we can't do better? You know, why do we have these fears that don't make sense? You know, why are we not living our greatest potential? Why do, if we don't look perfect, we don't feel valuable? You know what I mean? So these were all my why questions. So I wanted to kind of create a fitness program that was for all the other issues. I mean, everybody's got a gym. I don't need to re re recreate the wheel. I wanted to create a program for the in-between fitness, you know what I mean? And that was really where it birthed for more, first for myself. I wrote this program for myself after kind of having that hamster wheel show up again. And I know you know what I mean like that, like definition of insanity, trying something different, hoping for a different result, and then getting very blindsided. Why didn't this change, you know? But we think that we're doing something different when we try another diet. We think we're doing something different when we hire a different trainer, but the version of us that's trying the different diet or getting the different trainer is the one that is, is the one that needs to be different. You know what I mean? Like Absolutely. nothing outside of you can change what's inside. So it's, I, I think that the most transformational programs that have ever followed always included a little bit of the psychology. And I know as trainers, you guys are, you guys are life coaches, guaranteed. There's no way that you couldn't be just like your barber is a life coach and your bartender is your life coach and your trainer is your life coach, because it's not about the hour in the gym. It's about the 23 hours that you're up here 
mm-hmm. that you're holding on to the past, that you're worried about the future, that you're judging the parts of you that aren't where you want to be yet. And I thought there needs to be a program for that space. So I'm sure that when you took it, you were kind of like, what is this? Like, because it went, went every direction that no one wants to talk about relationships, yep. time, health, money, freedom, marriage, kids, you know, childhoods, um, habits, addictions. Like mm-hmm. this was all covered in my three month program online. And at the time it was COVID. So I couldn't have a physical location yet. So I was like, I don't wait. You know, I wanted to create something that people could at least sit in and, and marinate with until we have could create what we have created now. So when I found out that, that Danny was taking it, I was so excited because again, someone kind of with my background, but had been more consistent than me and married because that, see, that was my kind of kryptonite. The reason why I truly wrote quantum fitness is because I have yet to have at that moment, a healthy partnership. Great on my own. I can make a million dollars. I can raise four kids. I can be this boss lady, but give me a relationship. And and all of a sudden, like, I don't know who I am, you know, (laughs) and I would be in shape when I met someone. And then as soon as we broke up, there was that 40 pounds again. Right. Mm -hmm. Or I was constantly waiting for him to change or things to get better, waiting for the money to come in or waiting for this to happen or waiting for a COVID to stop. And I really kind of looked at the brain and went back to my studies as far as how the brain perceives reality and weight and weight are not that different, are they? It's like when we're carrying weight, we're heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Think about the last time you had to wait for something. How heavy does that feel? I thought there's a connection here. So I started studying kind of the other connections like broke and broke, right? Like, I feel broken and I'm broke. Like, okay, let's, let's pull the thread here. It's like, what's happening inside seems to be happening outside in a very literal kind of almost autistic way that I'm having this happen. And, and me being kind of a special needs child that didn't know she was a special needs child to learning disabilities. I kind of had to hide it from the world because I grew up in a family where if you were not able and willing, then you weren't part of the pack, which means you got left behind. So I didn't even have a sick day as a kid. I had to show up and, and I had to hide a lot of my, um, my uh, illnesses that I had. Like I had to hide a lot of that, which that carried into my relationships as I got older. So as I was writing this program, it was really therapy for myself. It was mm-hmm. like, I'm going to find the root why I can have it all except this. Well, when this is going right, this is going wrong. You know, why is it that when I finally get this, this leaves? Or finally, you know, get the money that I need. Okay, then I get this bill in the mail. What is happening here? And so that really took me deeper into the study of our neurology. And I will tell you that quantum fitness at the base point starts in the brain. And who we believe we are is very different than who we want to be. And who we've been told we are is very different than who we want to be. So if there's three opposing stories going on up here, I can imagine what's going on outside of me. I know you can kind of relate to the fact that you feel like different people at different times. You know, like you get around parents that you haven't seen in a while and you feel like the eight-year-old who's in trouble, right? (laughs) You might be in your relationship and you don't feel seen and heard, but you might be with your girlfriends and you might feel like a rock star. You know, you might feel with your, be with your kids and feel loved, but then you might be over here and not feel loved. Why is that? Okay, so I would actually say that quantum fitness is fitness and wellness for the brain, because everything that happens down below, right, is a byproduct of this. And I'm not saying that we are our brain. I am saying that the one of us looking at our behavior is the real us, but the brain is the one that's receiving and perceiving. Okay, so it's taking that data and it's going, okay, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And then it's like looking around going, well, I'm not seen and heard right now. And I don't feel appreciated right now. And I don't have the money right now. So I must not be worthy. I must not be allowed to be free. Okay, let's tell the body. Body, we're not free. So now the body has to behave, right? And that includes all of your hormones, your digestive system, the way your organs process energy, okay? The way that the rest of your body receives oxygen. I mean, if I really don't feel worthy, 
because I don't see physical love coming back to me or I'm not being paid what I'm worth, don't you think that's going to have a physical interior experience as well? Because my cells are a small version of me. And as I kind of pulled the thread a little bit more and started sell, really studying the ideas of cells, the macro and the micro, the cells are nothing more than CDs that record everything, everything, even pre-birth, right? So, and we hold the recordings of our generation, our bloodline, our ancestry. We didn't record that. You know, we didn't ask for all that knowledge and wisdom and trauma that's sitting in that, that cellular memory. And then I thought, okay, that mixed with environment, well, now that's the study of epigenetics. You know, turning on your grandmother's breast cancer, turning off, you know, someone else's disease. It's like, okay, how is this possible? Because you're literally sitting in the most advanced biocomputer in the universe. And I think that we are terrified of our bodies. You know, what diet should I take? What program should I do? Doctor, what's wrong with me? You know, why, why is this pain here? Why is that pain here? There's not enough internal study about what's really going on that makes up the me, myself, and I, which is kind of that idea of, of that version of you that the me is kind of like who you think you are, okay? The myself is who you are, right? And the I is what you could be. It's like mm -hmm. that potential, right? Like mm -hmm. if I could only live my dreams, if I could only get in shape, if I could only heal this issue, if I could only find my person, right? And that, that, that creates a lot of sadness, you know, who we are to who we want to be. Before quantum fitness, I had a virtual academy called the Quantum Method, and it was the study of advanced quantum biology and accessing higher levels of consciousness, like getting from this side of the bridge way over to this side of the bridge and helping people get there, right? And it was all virtual and it was all wonderful, but there was a physical element missing because Although fitness is really about the state of being that we believe we are and it's how we feel in our bodies, ultimately it's a physical expression. They got to get to your boot camp. It's something that they physically do. They can't be like, oh, I just worked out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, you can do that with meditation, but, but then you're going to probably crave sweets after because you rip through all of your oxytocin, all your serotonin going into a higher meditation. And now you need, you know, Gatorade or something to replenish and I thought that doesn't need to happen. So of course that just led me down another rabbit hole. And, and basically after a lot of practice and a lot of different elements of physical fitness, you know, nutrition, energy medicine, quantum biology, epigenetics, early childhood development, you know, kinesiology, put it all together and was like, okay, we are not just bodies. We are not just thought, we are not just, you know, we're not just consciousness, we're all of it, you know, and if we're going to create a program that is 100% successful, which means you stay consistent with you, not the program, because this program isn't designed for you to show up for the rest of your life. That's the beauty. Okay. This isn't like the boot camp you have to go for the rest of your life. This is about building the boot camp inside that you can attend every single day. And you are your own motivation. You are your own personal trainer. You are your own nutritionist. You are your own biochemist. You are your own guru, your own philosopher, your own mother, your own father, your own soulmate, and have access to that anytime you want and begin to remember where you really have never been able to access your true power because the body is literally unlimited in what it can do. I mean, the stories of the superheroes are true in the essence of what the DNA can do. We just get in our own way with needing so much outside of ourselves to motivate us, to stimulate us, to tell us we're good enough, to give us money so we can pay our bills, that we don't really spend a lot of time getting to know this. I guarantee that Danny knew more <laughs> about Jamie's trauma than she knew about her own. You know why? Because it was safe. <laughs> if I know what's going on with him, I can keep myself safe. You yeah. see, I don't need to study mine. I know what's bothering me. You know, I'm going to study his trauma, my kid's trauma. I'm going to watch everything that's going on around me to stay safe, to keep me safe. But we don't realize is that safety is created within. 
yeah. right? And so probably what you noticed is as you were going through this program, you were like, hey, this is me time. You know, mm -hmm. we hear self-love and self-care, but self-care ends up being a shopping trip on Amazon in a bubble bath. That actually can <laughs> turn into addiction. I know by personal experience, right? <laughs> me too. <laughs> yes, and, and that just keeps you in that, now I feel guilty that I spend money. Or how many times have you guys been like, not you, but like out there, been so hopeful that this program is it, this certification is it, this diet is it. And then all of a sudden your expectations are not being met by either your own sabotage or someone else. And then you move into the disappointment. Well, the root of the word disappointment leads into depression, okay? Depression is why everyone has a gym membership that doesn't go. Now, <laughs> depression isn't necessarily like looked at like you're depressed. Depression is procrastination, it's laziness, it's anxiety, it's worry, it's depressed emotion. You know, it's a suppressed, rejected. And as I was saying, you probably knew more about your husband's issues than you knew about yours because it's safer. Now think about how many people you're managing outside of you so you could stay safe. Now add a business onto that. Now you're responsible for all your clients' baggage so that they can be accountable to themselves. So you see how far we can move back on our own list. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we're really great at that. Like, because, oh, I don't need to feel this. I can handle it. I'm going to feel yours, 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 yours. And then we get so lost in the shuffle that by the time we need help, we feel terrified because it makes us feel weak, right? Like, oh, I can't help myself. I mean, we have to manifest a dis-ease to truly start taking care of ourselves. Or we have to manifest 40, 50 pounds before we notice. You know what I mean? We have to manifest big issues in our relationship before we actually sit down. Isn't that, and that's, I know that you guys have experienced that. So what this program is really about is, yes, it's a biohacking and we'll talk about that in a minute, but it's, it's looking at who we are as completely valuable and completely worthy. And this program is just, this is your body and this is your body 101, you know, and this is what makes up your body. And this is why you have crazy thoughts. And this is why you can't get out of the past and you hide in the future. And, and, and you know what I mean? So it's like a getting to know you program. It's like the university of you. And that is the only way that you will ever be sustainable, consistent, routine, and disciplined with your own health. Otherwise, anybody's trauma gets triggered outside of you that makes you feel bad, you've got to go help them in order for you to stay safe, you see? So when I was doing this with myself, I was starting to see my relationships change for the first time. And I, was, I would always have new relationships, but it would be the same story within three months. It was like, oh, men are all the same. That's so easy to say. Or this one, well, I'm just getting older. How many times have you guys heard that? Like, oh, well, it's okay if my hips are hurting. I'm just getting older. I had someone who is a fitness pro reach out to me yesterday, who is the same age as me. They said, oh, well, my doctor finally told me it was time for reading glasses. And I was like, wait, <laughs> what? But you, you are literally a prime athlete at the top of your game. How could you be getting older? And you'll find in quantum fitness that the brain wasn't designed to age, by the way. Stress ages you completely. And of course, there's stress there. And I said, well, my eyes are getting better. We're the same age. I'm not reading. I don't have reading glasses yet. I'm not using glasses. I, I pretended when I was a kid to look smart, but I haven't needed them. And my eyes have just gotten better and better and better over the years. Like, but you see how easy it is to just go, well, I'm getting older, right? Or women, I've had kids, you know, everybody looks like this. You know, it's just like that misery loves company type of uh, understanding is because we don't take stock of what we have to work with, right? I'm not saying everybody needs to be perfectly model fit. I'm saying that you know who you are inside. You know how you want your body to feel. You know, maybe you don't need the six pack abs, but you want to feel good in your skin, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what age you are, no one feels uncomfortable with tons of flesh right? All around them. It's hot. It's weight. It doesn't feel good. Right. And I know because I've struggled with my weight my entire life. I was the starvation 40 pounds, which made me skinny fat and then fat and bloated, which 
broke my metabolism. And then when I would work out, my metabolism was shot. So I had to be so controlling over my diet. I could not, like I had to weigh everything because my metabolism had absolutely no potential to work for me that I could not get it right. And I know women are out there and men, you guys are eating a lot less than me right now and you're heavier. You know what I mean? Because it's not about, they always say, oh, it's just calories. It's just science. That's not actually true because I have eaten a lot less than my friends, right? And then a lot heavier. I've worked out harder. I've micromanaged my diet better. I've had to meditate and de-stress. And they're out there just eating whatever they want. So that is not true. And the reason why is emotion, energy in motion, below a certain level has a physical weight that cannot be detected by a lab or a scale yet. All right. So when I started studying emotion, let's look at humiliation. It's heavy. It's burdening. It makes you want to hide. Okay. Let's look at, let's look at guilt, right? Guilt is heavy. It weighs on your shoulders. It weighs on your tummy, shame, embarrassment, humiliation, right? Worry, fear, being afraid. It stops you in your tracks. Well, all that emotion takes us to understand the nervous system, okay? So if I was gonna say quantum fitness is anything, it's brain, it's nervous system, right? It's the study of all of the systems, including your subatomic blueprint, which means your genetic code, which was your father's seed and your mother's li literally place to grow it, like the, the, everything else. And so you're not just getting your emotion. You're getting, was your mom very afraid when she was pregnant with you? Was she terrified? You know, did she contemplate maybe not keeping you, right? All of that emotion gets put into the biology. Now, we don't have to clear all, all that out. We don't. Because realistically, this program is designed to look at everything as equally important. It's not just your hormones. It's not just your nervous system. It's not just your brain. It's not just your metabolism. It's how everything is like a different instrument, guitar, drums, flute, and how it all needs to work as an uh, orchestra. You guys have heard kids playing drums and guitars, like, like a fourth grade like orchestra, and you're just like, that's what most bodies feel like. Like drums are too loud. Flute is a, it's a hot mess, right? And that's what's happening when this system gets out of alignment. What gets our system out of alignment? Pain, physical pain, car accidents, right? Uh, falling down, hurting your body, concussions, you know, any sort of injury is physical pain. Body records it, right? Now, emotional pain, I feel hurts a lot more, right? You could fall off your bike and get yourself a strawberry, but it's okay. You don't want anybody to touch it till it heals. But if someone tells you you're fat and ugly, that is a wound that doesn't seem like it ever heals, does it? I have been a hundred pounds and felt like the fat, ugly girl because that wound never healed, you see? So it, you could change your physical life. You could change your boyfriend. You could change everything. But if we do not change that heavy, dense emotion that literally finds its way in every crevice, then we'll never really be different until we change all of it. So the thing I love the most about you two is that I didn't share any of this with you. <laughs> We're just having this conversation now. And of course you guys have taken classes. So you had your own realizations and you've had your own success in this, but we took it a step, we took it a step further. And, you know, I really saw again, so much potential in what you guys could do with this not to mention that you're doing it together, which is just profound, right? Healing together, what, you know? <laughs> um, and, and you know, raising kids. Once I took you guys through the physical part of this, the true biohacking, because it's biological. You cannot meditate and think your way. Words don't teach, life experience teaches, okay? When you guys went through the physical, physical quantum fitness, see, that's when the masculine gets involved. Like what, physical? 
you know, you know, she's talking about jeans again over there or whatever. But now we're talking about something real that the masculine can get excited about. And you guys went through this physical, you guys like basically did an impromptu setup of quantum fitness in your own homes and you yep. took yourself through it. Mm-hmm. And this has been the journey that they've been on. Now, I'll tell you the results. Well, they own Canada. You know what I mean? Obviously, it's like, <laughs> obviously, not own Canada, but own quantum fitness in Canada, which means that they are the rep just like I am for the rest of, you know, US, they're going to hold the entire country because they have gone through and gotten results to say, I want to help people with this. So when did you know that you were like, I want to do this? Danny, we'll start with you. Well, I had gone through the online program first. So I feel like I had a little bit going on, but as you said, there's nothing compared to going through the physical part Mm -hmm. Um, and adding it all together. So once I started going through it, um, I knew that this is going to help a lot of people. Um, Mm -hmm. I could not believe the results I was getting myself, um, the changes in myself, the changes in my um, belief systems. I feel now like I've had a complete, you always say this, Jess, like factory reset, like a cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I feel like I've had that so that I've um, I'm able now to look at things so much differently and um, just be in a certain, um, a different kind of state of being when I'm, when I'm moving forward in my life. And yeah, I just am so excited to be able to share this with everybody and anybody that is willing to take part. I, I think the most frustrating thing for any business owner is to feel like there's a piece missing. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or, or like, oh, how can we make this better for them? Or how can we keep them here? Or how can we, and, is, and this program isn't like, we want lifers, we don't. There's 8 billion people in the world. We will be successful if someone comes through a one week program or a three month program and we never see them again. That's actually what we want. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I had a gal who interviewed for me to be a practitioner and she had a lot of background in a lot of these teachings because she went all the way through chiropractic college. Okay. So speak kinesiology, spine, brain, we were geeking out. I said, why didn't you finish? Why didn't you complete it? And she goes, well, the last course that we learned in this particular college, which is actually here, was talking about how, okay, now this is how you keep clients for life. And she was like, wait, aren't we healers? Aren't we supposed to be like giving them their, their power back? Well, how are you going to make money if they're not coming back? How can you, how do you make, you know, how do you build a career at a, on your community if you don't have all of the people coming three times a week? And she goes, I just, I couldn't wrap my head around that. I thought we were healing them for good. Like I didn't know <laughs> we were just adjusting for the week, you know? And see, that's always been my problem with any sort of, of Western philosophy or even some Eastern principles. It's like the body is a computer, right? So if we, if we're just, it's like a, a house that has a wonky vibration. If you change the color of the paint inside, that doesn't fix the, vi- the foundation. You can't just put new drapes on and everything's okay. I know we think we can get a haircut and our life's okay, but it doesn't <laughs> last. Very yeah. soon that foundation is going to say, I'm still wonky. I'm still broken. I'm still waiting. I'm still scared, right? So when you fix the vibration, well, now you build like the new house, the new body on top of the foundation that you choose, not your school, religion, parents' choices, you choose. So we take your body back to a physical reset because you know trying to defrag a brain, if you've ever talked to an IT guy about a computer that's had long viruses, what happens is the virus starts to infiltrate other systems. So now you're in this app and this one's popping up, right? Just like you're having this thought and this thought's popping up. Well, the brain works the same way when it becomes overloaded and the nervous system is just fight, flight, freeze, fight, flight, freeze constantly. Well, it starts to affect the whole system. Now, we know that when you work out, your muscles break down and we get new muscle, right? Same with collagen, same with cells, same with organs. Everything has a seven year gestation state of completely rebooting. We know that. We know that our bodies completely reboot every seven years. If so, why do they age? And if they're aging, why do they age worse? right? Because our state of mind, our state of being, our, uh, how we see ourselves, our self-esteem, our inabilities to live our dreams and have freedom and may be truly successful, it doesn't evolve over seven-year periods. It actually decreases. So instead of chasing your dreams with a body full of hormonal energy at 21, at 41, you're like, maybe I should just call it quits. <laughs> you know, like, it's just like, I'm tired. 
and then we settle. And then that dream stays dead inside of you forever and it haunts you because then you see other people doing it with more energy. So when we look at our own biochemistry, we have to understand that we have to, we have to stop taking everything so personally. And that's why I use the idea of the virus because once a virus gets into the brain and you don't change the virus, let's say trauma, let's say pain, let's say poisoning, chemical virus, physical virus, emotional virus, right? Someone giving you bad food for the first seven years, someone telling you bad things about yourself, it's poison. It's going to be traumatizing to your system, okay? It's going to stay there. Your body actually holds on to trauma as protection so it won't happen again. We call it PTSD, but it's a remember. So, hey, don't do that again. You do that again, it's going to be, you're going to get an allergy, right? So we have chemical trauma, physical trauma, and emotional trauma. And that's just human. <laughs> that's just living here on earth like normal. That's not even some of the situations that I've heard over the years. Like that's just average, right? That's just being in a marriage, having kids, you know? So then if I try to go, okay, let's create neural pathways. Because you hear that a lot. Just recreate your neural pathways and then your body will just be perfect. Well, what if your neural pathways have leaked into your cellular memory, your muscle memory, your digestion, your metabolism, right? Your blood, your plasma, your thoughts, your feelings, your marriage, your money, your time, right? Your friends, it's leaked everywhere now. Yep. So which one do I take? Which one do I work on? Well, I call my nutritionist and I call my therapist and I call my personal trainer and I'm flowing all this energy and money over different people with different perspectives of what I should be doing. And instead of taking my power back and saying, I'm one hot mess, <laughs> I'm saying, help me with my nutrition mess. Help me with my fitness mess. Help me with my mind mess. And that keeps us very discomparted and separated from what we could truly be doing. I look at it and go, oh no, factory reset required, right? Mm -hmm. If you are over the age of 40 years old, and that means you're stuck in your ways, you've been repeating these cycles for lots of time, it's when it's infiltrated into all of your systems. Okay. And it gets all the way down and starts turning on and off genetics. Okay. And it becomes like, it, like an IT person would say, there's not just one virus. It's multiplied. It's become airborne. It's manifested in different things. It's everywhere. Right. Think about your insecurities, how you see them everywhere, not just in your body, but you see them in other people. Right. How is that? Because it's become airborne. So what we do is we do a full rat factory reset. All right, that is the science of quantum fitness. Obviously, it's the fitness for all the areas that we can't see. You know, it's, it's not like I wanna change this muscle. It's like, I wanna change the way my eyes see that muscle. You know, I wanna change the way I hear tones of voices that are not necessarily derogatory, but I'm taking them derogatory because I am sensitive from being hurt a lot, you see? So it's like changing the filters and then being able to then create neural pathways. That are like, this is my road I choose, not the road that my parents chose, that I've been driving on 100,000 years, resisting it, not wanting to drive on it, but my road. So there's a, obviously a factory reset. And then there's, okay, what do you do with a brand new computer class afterwards, right? Because <laughs> definition of insanity is if I don't do something different, right? I can't just go for a healing and go jump back into my toxic relationship and say, it's all your fault. I'm perfect, right? Now we show up differently after, and I want to hear a little bit from you guys, how you've shown up differently in your own life. Like what's the physical like representation of the changes you've made internally, but ultimately go from like surviving your lives, even though we think we're living to really living and beginning to thrive. That's, that is the true testimonial of this program is to go from suffering or surviving, like barely making it, barely making ends meet, that's considered suffering, you know, not being seen and heard in your relationships, but, you know, keeping the peace so you can stay together, suffering, you know, not being able to give your kids what you want to give them, suffering, not having a job you want to be creative at, not having hobbies, it's all suffering. And we are so comfortable with it. It seems normal, just like getting older, right? None of it is. So what is the biggest change that you guys have seen in your physical bodies, in your kind of emotional outlet, outlook, and in your outer world? 
like obviously you guys are opening quantum fitness that's pretty major in canada but like that's the obvious one so what are the ones that are not obvious anyone can start um i'll i'll go um so for me um i mean i've seen so many changes um first i'd say for both of us we have uh, gone from being quite anxious about many different things to having little to no anxiety. It's almost like if there, um, if there are things going on, we just see things differently, feel things differently. And, um, you know, although we may feel, um, like, you know, upset about something or, and we allow the, you know, allow the emotion, um, we don't feel the physiological symptoms that we used to have. And we used to have a lot of that. So it used to translate into our life quite a, quite a bit. Um, so that's been huge for us. I, I'd say also like we have an overall just sense of peace and like we're just being more rather than having to do things all the time. And um, I just feel like we've gotten to the root, um, as you said, uh, of so many different things that has allowed us to, I mean, um, we, we've had our whole house renoed, which has been um, a new thing for us. That's just something that, um, you Abundance, know. Abundance, freedom, expansion. Exactly. But that can cause a lot of stress. If you, Absolutely. you know, like, that's like one of the bigger stresses is renovations, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when we do feel stress, we feel it just differently. Like it's just a different. Um, yeah, we process it differently. Yeah. And, and I actually feel like I have more compassion for other people now mm -hmm. um, because I've been able to, you know, work through things on my own. Now dealing with other people, uh, you know, as mm -hmm. you were mentioning too, being in the fitness industry, you're, you can be hearing all kinds of things that's going on in other people's lives. So um, yeah, I just feel like I've been, been able to be there more for them from a different point of view. And, yeah. and, um, I feel like we're, we're in joy a lot more just naturally. Whereas before I feel like we had to, there was a, there was a component of like working for it or, um, going outside of ourselves to do things and, you know, oh, let's go do Get this joy. on the weekend. Instead the of be joy, right? Exactly. Joy, right. Exactly. And I just yeah. feel like we're, we're naturally more, feeling it more. Yeah. We're more content and mm -hmm. not trying to reach for more and, and yeah. And, and push beyond our boundaries. We're very content with the space that we're working within. I love what you said, Jamie, about being more compassionate ladies out there. How many times have we been like, he's just not emotionally available, right? I had a guy on Instagram reach out to me and go, hey, is this program okay for men? I was like, what? You know, like, <laughs> uh, probably, probably better, you know, than anything I could do otherwise, because it is such a physical experience. So, you know, we have to look at that as a big component of quantum fitness is the study of the masculine and feminine right? And the fact that you guys kind of represent that united front is huge because the first entire program of quantum fitness is, is about rebuilding the masculine and feminine brain, about the, the, the doer versus the, the dreamer, right? And it's like, we usually, we usually become the doer. I made a lot of money, but I have no dreams or I'm the dreamer who can't rub two nickels together, right? And I would say that I always kind of fell more into the dreamer category until I got abandoned enough, abandoned and rejected enough by my partners that I was like, well, I don't need a man, I'll become my own, right? And I literally became my own version of my own partner. And then it was like, then it was like, I didn't need anybody around. I was the alpha of myself, like, get away from me. I already have a man and he's right here, you know? <laughs> and that was another layer of wounding that I see. It's called the alpha female, which is a highly wounded feminine, right? That is very capable and quite destructive when we want to be, right? Because we don't need help. Like I could raise four kids by myself, run three companies and make a million dollars a year and still keep in shape. I can do that. Do I want to do that? Is that my heart's desire? Do I say I don't want a relationship because I don't believe that, that I need one or because I've been hurt so many times that that's my new normal, you see? So when you said that, it was really, really good because you said, I am feeling compassion for what I've gone through. This program is, is very, like, it's very um, ego proof. And the reason why is because we take all of your sabotages into consideration. Like what's gonna stop you? What's gonna break your consistency? What's going to derail you? And we literally, I've been a life coach for 12 years. I know every excuse in the book. I know every sabotage. I know every ego thought that could happen with my clients. I've seen it all and I've seen it in myself. 
So we put that into the program. So it really is kind of like, it's, you can't fail if you just do it, right? And the consistency, because you can do it in such a short time and get such big results, it's like when you first lose that 10 pounds, you're like, now I'm motivated. You'll see, I think, pretty much instantly a lot about yourself that you've been paying or reading to find out, you know, like just in your own experience, like just going through one of the one of those seven steps that we, we have here. So for people that are kind of like, well, what are the seven steps? Obviously, we have an entire blog that's written. We don't want to waste your time going through everything. But like I said, we include every system, the masculine and the feminine, the dreamer and the action. So if you have lots of ideas, but you can't seem to get yourself up to do it, or you feel stopped because the money's not there, or you don't have the people, places, and things that you believe that you need to create this vision inside of you, all that actually means is your masculine and feminine has been separated through some form of trauma, your, your brain hemisphere. It's not true that it's happening outside, but if your brain, which is designed to be in union and breathe and expand and create together, right? then also the hormones that are being created from that togetherness are going to be healthy. Guys say, oh, I need testosterone when I turn 40. No, you have too much estrogen because you're not allowed to do what you want, right? You have low testosterone because you're not living your dreams. Hormones do not go out of whack with age. They go out of whack with stop, lock, resistance, weight, you're not allowed, you're not free, right? Because the body has to stop, fight, fight, freeze. That creates adrenaline. Adrenaline creates growth. It creates energy supplies to be run out. It's gonna suck all your sugar out, so you're gonna be hungry. You're gonna feel like you're constantly starving for something you can't get to. So by having um, Jamie go through, of course I'm like, okay, I can't wait to hear. He's the first man that has like gone through. I mean, obviously, if you're hearing this in a hundred years, you're like, what? First man? Like, <laughs> you know, this is the first guy that made it all the way through. And one of the most favorite things that I've enjoyed talking to um, Jamie about is his intuition that's come online. So yes, peace, obviously. You're in joy. You don't have to seek joy. You don't rush the finish line because you guys already feel good. You're more abundant. You're more free. Obviously, you're expanding, so you're more courageous, right? So those are the obvious things. But then also, because when you uncover trauma and you eliminate physical pain from the body, then what's underneath is the real you who is quite intuitive, right? Quite aware and genius. I literally had a woman go through my program in a one-week intensive. And when she got home within three and a half weeks, she had invented a product for quantum fitness that was one of my missing pieces and she was like i don't know it just came to me you see <laughs> so it's like that's what i'm talking about it's just like genius is underneath pain but right now we're using our genius to solve problems what if those problems were gone where would the genius oh i'm not smart like you or i'm not trust me you're smarter than me i just ask more questions i had two learning disabilities you know so genius is underneath pain but when we're in pain, we have to use that genius energy to solve basic survival issues so we don't ever really thrive. So when I ask you that question about your intuition, Jamie, obviously being compassionate, like what else would you say that you're that you're seeing within yourself? Um, well, I just uh, I just feel like my awareness as a whole, even just about myself or even my environment around me, it's just really opened up so much more. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, I was always really hard on myself for a lot of reasons and talk about compassion again, I'm actually having compassion for myself, which, you know, <laughs> that's huge. huge. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah. So, I mean, I feel a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel a lot more positive all the mm -hmm. time. And again, like just approaching day to day. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually with a, a, a whole different approach. I'm still the same person. But mm -hmm. it's almost like I have a different outlook, a different approach. I'm being more true to me uh, yeah. with everything that I do, which is huge. Um, that right there is worth millions and millions of dollars, honestly, because that's what we think that all these things we do outside of us are going to give us a piece of. But it's been there the whole time, right? Like 
we just had to get back to your factory reset. Like this isn't a come get brainwashed by Jess. This is not, this is, I don't wanna take anything that's not pure you, but we wanna remove the pain that is poisoning the real you. You know, pain, it, it hardens you. It's, it makes you very solid and very rigid and very controlling and very stuck and also very settling and very nonchalant and very lazy and very not determined and very, very much like, well, what's the point of this? I'll take care of someone else, you know? So yes, men have a tendency to be emotionally unavailable, so women say, but women have a huge potential to be caring about everyone else but themselves. You mm -hmm. see, so it's an equal exchange right there. So my last question, and I know everyone wants to know this, is how has this changed your marriage? Um, Put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> well, I think we both have more compassion for each other, actually, yes. um, which which go, goes a long way. Um, I think that we're happier. We're, um, we just enjoy things together more. Um, we actually have more patience for each other too. When someone's going through something, uh, mm -hmm. we're just there, you know, holding space for them and we're there basically. Yeah. And we, we don't take each other's stuff on. It's kind of like I have my way, he has his way, but we care about each other enough to allow each other to go through what we need to go through. Mm -hmm. And would you say that you're taking it less personally? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. That's the secret. Without a doubt. Right there. Because when you take things, when you, when you, when something happens and you don't take it personally, you don't go with the problem. You see, it's just happening. Like, well, you're triggered, right? So a lot of people don't understand this, but the, the, the brain and psychology is you are literally attracted to, to the unfulfilled desires and wounding and love within your own heart. So when you fall in love with someone, you are falling in love with the potential of yourself but you're also falling into like alignment of what triggers you the most, as you guys probably know, right? And this is why like they say that it's 85% divorce rate because you get this idea of who you're marrying, but then when the new shiny freedom wears off and then the, the pain from the past starts to unpack itself in your living room, then it's kind of like, well, when you unpack your baggage, it triggers my baggage to open. And now I don't feel safe and free with what you're saying and vice versa, right? And this is why most relationships, even business relationships fail because we come together thinking that it's going to be one way, but really we're, we're coming together to heal and grow together. But it's impossible to heal and grow if my pain makes you feel unsafe and your pain makes me feel unsafe. One of us is going to have to go to feel safe, right? And I know you've experienced that. So what I've noticed in my relationship is that we're actually having these conversations like, oh, that's, that's your trigger. Like, and I <laughs> yeah, can like, two. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> in, instead of like, your trigger is killing me. And then it's like, you know, like we're actually acknowledging and saying, okay, so if this does, which what I've noticed with my quantum fitness life program is that when it does come up, it's not like, rah, like it's like possession. It's like, it might come up as an emotion that needs to be dealt with, but it doesn't feel like an overpowering rage or grief or like, it, I don't take it personally. Like I even had a conversation with my partner yesterday about something that had happened in former relationships that could possibly trigger him. So I laid everything on the table and said, this could possibly trigger you. How do you feel about it? He's like, I'm shocked you would even consider me, you know? And so it's just like showing up, like people think that love is about everything being perfect, but love is about compassion and understanding and listening and being there and creating a safe environment so we can heal. You know what I mean? Because again, yes, we want to biohack everything but your body has been living a certain way for a really long time. And so there might be certain things after the program that you're gonna to have to remind yourself, right? Okay, we don't do, we don't live at that old house anymore, you know? Right. And, and if you have a safe environment, which of course you will create, then you'll have the opportunity to practice who you would prefer to be instead of who you have to get, who you end up. You know, like, we don't like ourselves when we get to those darker places. But that darker energy isn't bad inside of us. It's just the unloved parts of ourselves that, that are in pain. But your pain, just like a tuning fork, is going to trigger my pain. I'm either going to try to 
solve your problem for you, or it's going to trigger my own pain. And now I'm going to be mad at you for highlighting. <laughs> so I'll be, it'll be interesting to see your guys' journey over the next year. Cause you work together, you raise kids together, you're going to this program together and, and, and you'll even take it one step further and experience like the couples program, right. That we're kind of putting together right now. Yes. There probably won't be a lot of people yet because you know, not a lot of people can stay together or even want to be in the same room, but if you can, <laughs> This is pretty amazing. So I, I can't wait to hear about your journeys and and I'm urging you guys to make more videos, you know, not just about the program itself and what you're offering, but again, you know, this isn't a product that can be marketed or sold because like you said, you have to be ready for this. You have to be like been there. I, you almost have to be in a state of surrender. You know what I mean? Like you've, you've had to go down and hit your head against the wall enough times where you feel like you know everything and then you keep hitting your glass ceiling. That's where you're going to find us. You know, that's where you're going to start looking up where there's a quantum fitness for you or find a retreat or, you know, or just make it happen and do the online course at first, like whatever. But I'm saying, you know, this isn't something that like, even when I'm taking someone through this and I go, you see why I can't work with this? Because I can't explain what's happening right now. Like <laughs> what you're experiencing right now, there's no words for. Right. And, and that's just what I keep saying every time I take someone through. So so it's going to be really, really cool to see how, how you guys build and thrive your, you know, your, your baby that you're creating here. And anybody that's out in the, in, you know, anywhere in Canada, even if it's five, six hours away, jump on a flight, you know, it's worth it. Go spend a week, go spend a few months. Go, we have different programs for different, basically, experiences. So somebody asked me yesterday, and I just want to wrap with this, is what's the difference between the one week intensive program and like the three month program? And I say, if you can be in a three month program, that's going to be a very gentle, new routine, consistent, safe, like way to really, truly deprogram all of the pain and really create the new reality that you choose new neural pathways, new cellular memory, new collagen, new muscle memory in a really gentle way. But if you're like us who have been in fitness for 20 years, done all of the courses, been trying the diets, have had the sessions, you know, tried crazy things. You have enough relationship with yourself to understand that time doesn't truly exist. And you only have a week. It's a little bit of a longer session each day than it, with a three month. And there is a month program afterwards that you do virtually with your coaches, but it really is the same exact results, but I truly believe that you've got to be truly ready for the one week intensive. So the three months you're kind of like, okay, let's try this. You, by second month, you'll be like, whoa, you know, but the one week you kind of be, have to be really ready because it's going to be a complete overhaul, right? You're going to come in one way and you're going to leave the real you, the, the you before the world told you no, right? And that can be very exciting and scary, but it's worth it. I mean, we, we're just wasting our time at this point and we're constantly waiting for everything to come to us, but we're, we've got to, we've got to actually create it from the inside of ourselves with a clean slate. We want a clean slate out there and we want better opportunities. We can't keep with pain trying to create that. So, all right. Anything else you guys want to add and um, give us some, a little bit of a location details just so where you guys are. Um, and, and, you know, where, where they can find you right now until, you know, we get everything truly live. Yeah, absolutely. So we're in, uh, we're in Toronto. So we're going to be in the high park area of Toronto and Roncesvalle. Um, and, um, yeah, right now we're on Instagram and, uh, we're, we're going to have, uh, our, all our contact information available info at, uh, quantumfitnesscanada.com is the email and, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be available to everybody very soon, uh, even with a, a phone number if anyone wants to call in and inquire. Awesome. Yeah. And you guys can definitely see us. We have a kind of a combined Facebook page too. Quantum Fitness, yeah. I think it might be KC or something. Mm -hmm. I'm in Kansas City. Uh, so United States, you guys are in Canada. So if, if anybody's closer to Canada, get there. You know, yeah. they're they're fully set up. But again, this is such a um we're, we're so grassroots right now because there's nothing like this that exists yet. Yes, there's a lot of all-inclusive med spas and there's all-inclusive gyms and there's all-inclusive, you know, healing centers, but this is not working to heal. We're not healers. 
we are IT people. We're IT and we're going to basically, we are going to take you back to your factory settings. And we're gonna put your body through the right experiences designed for each type of system that you have, which means that drums and flutes treated differently. But we've got to basically take every system back to factory reset. And that will change the mind. All right. So you don't have to go through years of therapy. You don't have to get hypnotized. But there is going to be an element of every single thing, Eastern, even Western culture, that brings the best of what you can't see and what you can see kind of in one house. And it's um, very safe and it's non-evasive. So this isn't like we're doing surgery to like take you back to factory settings because your cells are, are going through a death and rebirth cycle on their own. They do not need, you know, we do not need to cut into your body at all. We're gonna put your body through a different pressure points, light, sound, frequency, temperatures that, that activate the change so that it is a very organic, very safe experience. Okay, so yeah, I think guys are like, you're gonna cut into my brain? Absolutely <laughs> not. No, and, and nobody should be doing that, right? So um, so yeah, there's lots of more information. If you guys go to my YouTube channel, uh, Jessica Alstrom Fun and Fitness, and I've got lots of, lots of different videos on biohacking. They're gonna have a lot of videos on what, you know, what their experiences and what their clients are experiencing, but just also their wisdom and their knowledge, their infinite. They, you both have, inf I've, when we get on the phone, we can't get off. So it's ours. Sure. So it's, just, it's <laughs> awesome to be able to be in, in wellness and be in service, but actually have something that works, <laughs> not just kind of works, you know, like, oh, it kind of worked, <laughs> but you're here again. So if you're here again, it didn't work all the way. We want, we want to me, the best representation of my business is people who don't need me, who have their own. You see, like that's the best testimonial I could ever receive. So thank you guys so much for doing this with me. And yeah, this is obviously you. not going to be the last time. I want to talk about relationships with you guys. I want to talk about what you're experiencing with your clients. And we'll just kind of make this a regular thing, awesome. especially when you get up and running and we can see pictures of your space and all that good stuff. So check us on Facebook. Check them out on Instagram. It's Quantum Fitness Canada, correct? And Facebook, obviously. And then look out when they get their YouTube channel up. I will share it personally. All right. Awesome. So thank you guys so much. For Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Jess. And I will see you guys all soon. Bye. Bye.